We're at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon for the very first time to try out their famous snacks. Let's see. I'm Jay, and, I'm and you are watching the Theme Park Foodies, and we are here for the very first time at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. We don't really film at water parks much because we feel awkward filming people in the water and things like that, but we asked on Twitter, Sam, actually asked on Twitter, at Sammy the Foodie, if you want to follow her, uh, what their most famous eats here were, and we had some cool answers, and it kind of intrigued us to go, I actually paid for the water park aid on for our annual passes about a year ago, and we never went, so we definitely had to try to get here at least once. We haven't even entered inside the park yet, but we're also feeling, we're, all, we're already feeling a really relaxed atmosphere, right? I feel like I'm on vacation and yeah. you don't have to pay to park here, which yeah. is something that I didn't know. Yeah, and was there anything like you had your eye on in regards to like the food? Well, I heard there was some good barbecue chicken and pineapple flat flatbread. Yeah. And of course we have to get the infamous um, ice cream pail. Yes, I want Sunday. a bucket full of ice cream. You, you would. Yes, <laughs> seriously. They also have the standard hot dogs and hamburgers here. We're gonna be eating a lot of food which I usually don't do them at a water park. They say you gotta wait an hour after eating before you can ride some slides, but I think I might be riding them anyway. Uh, and don't do this <laughs> if you are coming here. And we're definitely gonna check out the park for the very first time. Unfortunately, we don't have like a GoPro, so we can't film on like the, the water slides and things like that, but we'll definitely be showing you some of the atmosphere here and dining on some of their most famous eats. Are you ready, Sam? Yeah, and also I think it's in 2025 that Disney is giving away yeah. free tickets i guess on the first day of your trip the day you check in they're giving if you're you saying at a walt disney world resort the first day you check in they will be providing you the first day free of whatever water park they have opened at that time whether it be typhoon lagoon or blizzard beach so it's a pretty cool amenity for 2025. it is i mean if you want to go to a water park on the day of your check-in i mean that's yeah. it's kind of up to you yeah. but it does kind of have a relaxing vibe so maybe it will be a nice way to kick off your trip i agree all right if you enjoy the content please like and subscribe join us for our day dining at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. All right, so as you first walk into Typhoon Lagoon, you're gonna bear right around the bend. And as you pass a ride, I think it's called Adventure Falls, you'll, you will see Typhoon Tillies on your right-hand side. They have food, they have spirits, but they also have seafood, which makes a lot of sense because you're in an aquatic environment. This is the seafood boil it's got shrimp boil oh, shrimp boil. right I, mean, I thought it was seafood because it has crawfish and shrimp what's exactly in this set okay so this has shrimp and dewy sausage crawfish boiled potato corn and garlic toast toasted with chopped parsley yeah, it looks good the sausage i'm questioning but you get one it looks like i only have one little crawfish in there all right let's uh let's open up this basket oh it just kind of falls in good look at all that oh nice lots of shrimp Lots of andouille sausage. All right, let's start with the shrimp. There's a little Cajun seasoning on it. No, I thought I was getting more crawfish. So do you want to eat crawfish, Sam? No. You rip the tail off. They actually have an instructional instruction manual up there, and then you got to try to pull it kind of out from here. Oh, that was not good. I will try to get as much meat as I can out of this. This is awkward. Okay. This is how much meat I was able to get. I haven't eaten crawfish in a while. Usually tail comes right out. It's crawfish. It's good. I like crawfish. We need to try ourselves a little garlic potato, though. Mmm. All right, some corn. And this wasn't recommended to us. We went rogue with this one. It felt like it met the theme. Do I feel like I'm eating seafood at, like, a high-end restaurant? Probably not. But I think it's higher quality than what most, like... Like, I feel like it's that, to me... It's like better seafood than what I've had at like the Epcot Festival booths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I, I do like myself a good boil. Garlic toast is the weakest part. It is crunchy though. Not bad. Not great. It's okay. Um, I would like more crawfish. Because of that, I'm gonna give it a six. I think it's a solid quality item, but I just don't think it quite like hits the mark for me. 
All right, so our next item takes us over to Leaning Palms. If you walk into Typhoon Lagoon, you'll make a left and it'll be on your left-hand side, right in front of the wave pool. Uh, this is actually what we brought up in the beginning of the video. It's one of the things we were most looking forward to and one of the things that was suggested to us on Twitter. It is a flatbread, the barbecue chicken flatbread. Is that it, right? Barbecue chicken and grilled pineapple flatbread. And uh, supposedly it's homemade barbecue grilled chicken and roasted pineapple, red onions and cilantro with tomato sauce and mozzarella. I am not against pineapple on flatbread. Sometimes it adds a nice light sweetness. I don't want it on my New York pizza. If I want a Domino's pizza or flatbread, I'll accept it. It said red onions, but those look pickled to me. Maybe they're pickled red onions. It looks like there's pesto on it, no? There's definitely, that's definitely pesto, in my mind at least. I shouldn't say definitely. It's good, but for barbecue flatbread, it needs more barbecue taste. I don't taste much like barbecue sauce. The pineapple gives it a little bit of sweetness. It's not loaded with pineapple though. Honestly, the pesto for me is like the most dominant flavor. This is more like a chicken pesto flatbread than a barbecue flatbread, but I still enjoy it and I still would eat this again. Acidity from the onion, sweetness from the roasted pineapple. The chicken tastes good. It's not like chewy or rubbery or anything. Flatbread has a nice undercarriage and crust. I would give this a seven. Nice. Yeah, I want to try it out too. Okay, so, oh, there's a little bit of a cheese pull there. I want to get a centerpiece. Okay, that looked, that looked pretty good. You said this was tasty, right, Sam? Yeah, no, I would 100% eat this again. I just would like more, like a bar barbecue sauce taste. The barbecue flavor on the chicken is a very light hint of barbecue. I like the pesto mixed with the pineapple. I've never heard, thought of those as like a flavor combination, but it works. And this also doesn't feel like something that was like too heavy to eat on like a theme, like a water park day. I don't want to eat a burger, but like this is, you know, filling, but not too filling. Good portion size too. Um, I think that for me, the undercarriage could be crispier, but it's crispy enough, I would say. I mean, you're at a water park in Florida, so <laughs> let's, it could be, it could be a lot worse. We went to Splish Splash in Long Island. The only thing they had for you there was Dippin' Dots. That was the thing when you went to... And churros. Yeah. That was a not... not type of <laughs> My mom always let me get a churro on the way out of yeah. Splish Splash if I was good. And those aren't like Disneyland churros. Uh, I would agree with your seven on this. I think it's good. Um, I like the pesto flavor, how it mixes with the pineapple. Pineapple adds a very nice, light sweetness. It's, it's good. All right, so the next item from here that we've gotten is the chicken rice bowl. We have the kids portion size because obviously we're eating a lot of food today. Sam, what's in this? This has jerk seasoned chicken with rice, pigeon peas, and served with roasted corn and peppers, pineapple salsa, and sweet plantains. And because we got the kids version, we also got a little bottle of water with it. You can also get a soft drink. I want to try the plantain out. Actually, I actually think this is like a nice portion. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think the kids portion size is the way to go for us, especially. Okay, so let's try this out. That's the best thing I've had so far, without a doubt. The person who recommended this, Carly, has never steered us wrong. She's actually a, like a travel and theme park journalist, and she's been just giving us great recommendations for years. So I kind of had a feeling that this one this would be. This is the best thing we've eaten so far. This is good. It's flavorful, delicious, light sweetness from the plantain. The, the chicken is like fall apart in your mouth. I'm going to go nine with that. That's really good. I can't imagine... I mean, if I got this at a restaurant, I'd be happy with the flavor profile on that. It's fresh, it's good. Yeah, without a doubt, that beats the seafood, beats the pizza. This is the, this is the way to go so far. All right, now Sam has to have her hand at the chicken bowl. This is without a doubt the best thing I've eaten so far. Oh, it's nice, it's like shredded. Yeah, the, the chicken like falls apart in your mouth. It mixes in well with all the flavors. The roasted corn is really good. See you know how it's charred? You're right, this feels like something like you could eat at a restaurant. Like it tastes restaurant. It tastes high quality, quality yeah. And it's a water car. Wow, nice flavor. Not too, not too spicy. Just like a little kick. We are rating this on water park <laughs> standards, not like, you know, fine dining standards when we get to give, give the ratings today, just so you know. But this does taste like something I can get at a restaurant. Ooh, the pineapple. More pineapple. It almost, it's so weird. It almost tastes like a little spicy, but also like refreshing at the same time. And also another dish like the flatbread that I don't think is like too heavy to eat. You don't want to be eating heavy when you're... I feel like it meets the theme of this area. It kind of feels like a Caribbean yeah. type of uh, dish. 
You agree with the nine? Something I just noticed on our way to get our next item, the waterway that moves underneath the dining area near Leaning Palms actually moves right into the Lazy River and the Wave Pool. So it looks like it's one continuous stream. Nice attention to detail. All right, so right next to Leaning Palms is Happy Landing Ice Cream. And this is the sand pail bucket filled to the brim it with ice cream. The ice cream is, goes up to here. And yeah, it's I thought like, it would be mostly whipped cream. I feel like it's dense. Yeah, I, we're definitely not going to be able to eat all this, but we, we had to get it for you guys because, I mean, look how bombastic it is. I really love the bucket. I really like Minnie's. Taylor Swift sunglasses. Her lashes are popping. Yeah, you can also see the Typhoon Lagoon kind of icon there. Keep turning it. Let's see the other stuff I on there. So yeah, you can see Mickey having a good time in his swim shorts. And then I think there's someone going off one of the slides back there. Is that, uh, oh, that's the gator, I think, right there. Can we feed a family? <laughs> and it's, it's soft serve, right? Yep, soft serve ice cream. You can't pick it just... Did it just That's they didn't give me an option. And you got a little crunch from the sugar crystals yeah, and the a little Mickey, pixie dust on top. Mickey sprinkles. I mean, it tastes like Mr. Softy soft serve. Like, it's good soft serve. It's nothing out of this world. It's obviously a novelty because it comes in this bucket. Like, I still would get this again. Hopefully, if I was here with a large group of people. I think like four people would be good to share this with. And I think it's like a really, you know, cute thing to get. Not two people. <laughs> but. We have a souvenir now, though. Yeah, I think that bucket is adorable. If we have guests, we'll feed them ice cream in this bucket. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an eight. It's it, it's fun. I think it's the novelty of it. It's, I would I wouldn't say it's an eight for flavor. It's probably an eight more for aesthetics, right? Wait, there's crunchies on the bottom. Ooh, there's crunchies on the bottom. I thought I was tasting crunch from the sanding sprinkles. What oh, there's that? like cookie crunch in there. Oh man. So maybe it is an eight for flavor then. This is good. All right, I gotta try to mix this up, I feel like, a bit. Make a little mess. If I were you, I would go straight for the bottom because there's like yeah. some good stuff on that bottom. So, oh, I do feel like a crunch in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it cookies? What is that? It's like cookie or cake or something. All right, let's try it. It's like a cookie crunch. It's a good Sunday. Should give me a little hot fudge though. To me, that's what this is missing hot fudge. If you put hot fudge in this, boost it up. But it's got to get points for the fact like, look, I'm going to peel back this um, whipped cream. That is all ice cream. And look at how dense this is. Literally, I honestly think family of five yeah. could. It was 20 bucks, but like if I had a top and I got this at the end of the day, I'd put it in my cooler, I'd bring it home. And I would have ice cream for like the week. <laughs> More than a week. I barely eat this much ice cream ever. I can't eat all this right now. We still have more stuff to eat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's good. For the novelty and for the cookie crunch at the bottom, I'm gonna agree with your eight. I think it's good. I just wish I had like three stomachs so I could eat all of it. I wanted you guys to see as we were finishing this up, we actually did end up eating half of it. And there was legitimately a whole cake at the bottom of this with crunchies on top. So it's like half cake, half ice cream, really. All right, so we can only eat so much. So we are on our last item. These were suggested to us, I feel like because we used to rave about these over at Hershey Park. Hershey Park used to have these mini donuts that we loved in all different flavors for the seasons. They have mini donuts here at Typhoon Lagoon too. As you walk in, they will be to the right-hand side. It's actually a Joffrey's stand. They fresh make them right in front of you. They just only have powdered sugar on them, so there's only one flavor you can get. Uh, you can also buy a chocolate sauce for $1.69, which is interesting because the chocolate sauce, if you get the beignets over at Port Orleans, is only 99 cents, so there's a little extra here. And these are the mini donuts. So we got half a dozen. I literally think we're just going to be eating. I'm going to eating one. I'm already. We ate a, a half a pail of ice cream. I think it would have been good to put the donuts in the pail. That would be good, That'd but be I think good. I think my stomach's had enough. Yeah, and they look at all that sugar. Obviously, we saw them being made fresh. I did want to try out um, the barbecue chicken sandwich yeah. over at. Too much. Yeah, Leaning Palms, but 
They also have a really good looking snow cone here, guys, that they make fresh with like the syrup and the shaved ice right in front of you. So this isn't everything, but these are the things we most wanted to try. They are so soft. Like they just like crumbled apart. They're so good. Nine. Wow, so it's it's Hershey Park level then. I guess they're fresh made, but what I don't like about here is like there's only really one flavor option. In Hershey Park, there's a tons of flavors that you could try. I'm good, I just had a pail of ice cream, so I'm okay. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try one with and one without the chocolate sauce. Wow, it's got, look at all that sugar that's on there. They're really getting skip on that sugar. You could watch them actually pour it in. Let's try it out. The chocolate sauce though is not as good as the beignet chocolate sauce at Port Orleans. You're right, they're so soft. They just like fell apart when I ate it. Like it just crumbled. Let's try it with the chocolate sauce. I know it's just a plain donut, but it's like a hot, fresh donut. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. What else is new? In my opinion, the chocolate sauce doesn't add anything to it. I would just eat them without it. Yeah, they are pretty good. They're good on. They can stand yeah. alone. It actually, I think, makes it worse. I like them without the chocolate sauce a lot more. And I'm gonna give them. A, you give them a nine. I give them a nine. I'm gonna give them a nine too. I think these are really good. They're fresh, made to order, which of course is gonna give it that nice, fresh kind of like when you bite into it, it's got a great delicious kind of light doughy consistency. The sugar adds good sweetness to it. The dough itself has a sweetness to it. You don't need the chocolate sauce. It's not hot. It's not like a mole like you get with the beignets, so it doesn't add anything to it. We it's not a mole that you get with the beignets, it's a chicory. Oh, chicory, yeah. It's really good. Um, I would 100% get these again. and. This is definitely the best food I've ever had at a water park, for sure. So the Joffrey stand that has the mini donuts actually has a specialty refresher type of drink as well. It's blue, it's got boba, it's called the Frozen Tidal Wave. What's the flavor profile? What's exactly in this, Sam? This is a refreshingly cool frozen lemon with blue curacao syrup topped with blueberry popping boba. They look like actual blueberries. We couldn't fit more food, but we figured we could at least have one drink. I dig it. I like the consistency a lot. I like the slushy consistency. Very cold, very refreshing. I like the little burst of blueberry. It goes well with the lemon flavor of the drink. Mm. I definitely got this again. Eight. Wow, so I feel like the last items we had, really, we, we, end, we ended with the best items. We saved the best for last, as they say. All right, so I have to try the drink too, and I do want to bring up, we did have food at Dollywood's Water Park that was good. Um, so for me to say this is the best, I would have to go back and watch that video. If you want to watch that Dollywood video, we'll put it in the description of this video. Oh my god, that was... I don't know if it was the best video. It was uh, years ago. We filmed it on a GoPro before we moved to here. We got... I feel like we got better when we moved to Florida. But if you want to check it out, we'll put it there. Um, definitely not our best work. Alright, let's try this out. There's alarms going off. Is that the wave pool? That's the wave pool. Um, you said... What'd you give this, Sam? I think I said eight. I'm getting like an artificial sweetness to it that I'm not a big fan of. Boba's nice. You're getting, that's the curacao. Yeah. I think it's, I like the consistency and I like the blueberry boba. Like, I like that the boba has flavor and it's just, just not boba. In hot weather, that's very refreshing. The thing with me is I just had actual sugar. So I feel like I really taste the fake sugar. Um, and I think it would be refreshing on a hot day, but it's just not my thing. I'll give it a six. Uh, if you like Sam's flavor profile, then that's going to be your thing, uh, which I think most people say they do. I tend to actually be a lot nicer than I just like food. But this is one of the few instances where I think you like something more than me. Uh, for me, it's just, it has that fake flavor to it, which turns me off. But I do love, like you said, the consistency, the boba. So I'm going to stick with five. It's average. You said six. Now you're saying six. five? I, I meant to say six. I'm going to stick with six. It's average. It's even but it's elevated. All right, so we've really enjoyed the atmosphere and the food here at Typhoon Lagoon, but we haven't gotten any rides yet. So I'm about to break the golden rule and die and, and go on a water slide and go in the water about a, not even 10 minutes after I ate, so. I don't recommend. <laughs> but we're gonna let you guys know what we think at the end and we'll go for our full experience. It's definitely a beautiful park, right? All right, so surprise, surprise, I got hungry after all that swimming and we went back to the Leaning Palms and I did get the pulled pork sandwich. And I'm so happy I did, Sam, because look at this behemoth of a sandwich. You can't even pick it up. Yeah, it's like the uh, ice cream pail, but with pulled pork. What's exactly in this? So it's roasted pork shoulder, bacon, and doobie sausage, caramelized onions, coleslaw, topped with whole house-made pickle chips, and drizzled with horseradish petal sauce. All right, let's see if I can take a bite out of this. 
I don't get why this water park has such good food. I love it. This has better food than Magic Kingdom. <laughs> for sure, like. You're right. This is better than any sandwich at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> it's so good. The pickles had a good crunch. The coleslaw adds a good crunch with that like slight like vinegary taste. It is a lot of things at once. It's like, it's like the kitchen sink. They threw everything in there, but I like it. It's probably more of a fork and knife. I did make a mess out of myself. And you get some sick steak fries, thick. They're seasoned nicely. I had some. Yeah. This isn't something I'd want to eat pre-swim though. Post-swim, yes. I'll tell you, we eat anything that we ate pre-swim. Oh yeah, that, that's true. I got hungry. I worked myself up a little appetite. I deserve that. This is really good. I'm gonna give this an eight. Um, the, the only reason I'm not gonna go nine or ten is I don't think it's like the most high quality pulled pork. Although the pulled pork is pretty good. I like the textures. I like the flavor profile. I love that it has like a brioche bun on it. The pickles. Everything is executed well. The only thing to make it better is if like you went to like sit down restaurant and got something of that quality. I highly recommend eating at this water park. And I usually don't like to eat at water parks because you feel like bloated and you have like your shirt off and stuff and it can feel kind of in, you know insecure. Uh, but the food here is so good. I would say you're remiss for not trying any more food here, right, Sam? <laughs> Just be insecure. Eat the food and be insecure. Right, that's what I'm that's our. <laughs> All right, so Sam is going to try to eat the pulled pork sandwich. You're forcing me to, by the way. I'm not forcing you. I asked you very nicely for the people because I always feel like I rave about things and Sam has a bit more of a critical lens and she provides you a bit better feedback sometimes. So people have said that they agree with your food ratings more than mine in the past. The pickles are really good. Right? And the crunch? Yeah, the Regal Eagles pickles. <laughs> yeah, the slaw is very crunchy too. The bun is like absorbing the meat nicely. Yeah, it's a good brioche bun. I don't want so much meat though. Like I could do without the andouille sausage being on it. I think I agree with that. I don't, I don't think it needs that. I think it'd be a more manageable sandwich if it didn't have that on it. But everything on the components are all, they are, they all good. A lot of texture. It's a quality sandwich. I would like more sauce. Okay. Like, I feel like when I want like get a pulled pork sandwich, I want that barbecue taste or like a smoky I get that. flavor, yeah. and I don't get that. But it's it's still really tasty. I think a lot of the moisture comes from the coleslaw and the pickles. So and that vinegary flavor mixed with like the pulled pork flavor, I, for me, made up for the moisture loss in the barbecue sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. You go with seven? And okay. I think the fries are good. They have seasoning on them too, and they're very good. All right, so that is it for our first time ever at Typhoon Lagoon and trying their famous treats. I want to say the food impressed. The atmosphere really impressed me. Even the rides, the way that they were just kind of built into the land, it felt like a Disney. Like I didn't, I never been to a Disney water park before, so it, I didn't, I wasn't sure how they could execute it. But really, you felt the Disney difference, right? You did, and there were like no weights. Yeah. Today is Saturday. It was a beautiful day. I'm sure the summer is probably crazy, mm -hmm. but it was such an enjoyable experience. Seriously. Uh, we walked on every single ride that we went on. Uh, we rode um, Adventure Falls. We got to go into the wave pool, which has that big giant wave, oh, yeah. which you'd miss. Uh, we went in the Lazy River, we went in the Family Raft Rides, we went on the, the uh, coaster, uh, and we got to see like Miss Tilly off in the uh, background where you're in the wave pool. We so saw nice. Stitch. We saw Stitch. We didn't have the yeah. camera with us. We saw Stitch. Yeah. The Ooh, locker, we did pay for a locker. It was ten dollars. There's had like a bigger one for fifteen, but mm -hmm. we fit a lot of stuff in the ten dollar yeah, locker. Yeah, kind of smush it in. And you can bring in your own food and drinks, not alcohol, obviously, but you yeah. can also bring your own stuff too. Yeah, we do recommend if you can afford it eating here. The food here was good. I thought, like I said, the Disney difference with the food as well. Um, I enjoyed the food we had in our Dollywood uh, like water park. Um, that was Splash tour. Country. Splash yeah. Country. But I want to say I do think that this was the best food I've had at a water park ever uh and i had so much fun here too it felt like like you said you were on vacation you no know, and i also i felt like i healed my inner child <laughs> and that's not implying that like i had yeah. a bad childhood or anything but yeah. it was just something about like eating that pail of ice cream yeah. and just like going in the wave pool like it just it was like such a core memory yeah day. and so fun oh i hit you with my hat it's okay my very large what, hat yeah, what was your favorite thing to eat i did really like the donuts but i really also really loved that pail yeah. Like the, I thought it was just going to be sweet. ice cream, but it had like this cake on the bottom. It was so good. The pale was my favorite sweet. My favorite savory was the chicken bowl. Chicken, chicken bowl, I would get every, I would get that like normally if it was like a fast food yeah, option. Yeah, I almost want to come here just to like have lunch and like lounge out. <laughs> bring like, the chicken bowl home, yeah. you know? <laughs> and if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking 
will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notifications. That way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't count the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. See the big waves coming out right now. We missed it. We were in there for so long waiting for the big one and we... Yeah. Oh, my God. That looks so cool. We didn't see Laguna Gator, too. I wish we saw Laguna Gator. The people you see scrolling up in this little end credits panel here, those are the members of this channel. You too can become a member for as low as $1.99 a month, but we always appreciate even just a view, like, comment, or subscription. All those help us out in many ways that you might not even realize with the YouTube algorithm. It really is such a beautiful park here. We're so happy that if you watched this, that you came along and joined us on our first ever adventure here at Typhoon Lagoon. Not our last. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for the add-on again, <laughs> but we have to go at least twice this time to make it worth it. It's a hundred bucks, and usually a ticket cost here, just so you know, is about seventy.